So it's first Sunday live for me in Sydney for a while and just a chance to breathe. I just got back from Europe and I've already done two conferences interstate. Just getting ready to see Manu off as well back to Europe. But I thought I'd squeeze in a quick Sunday live and thought I'd address a theme because it's start of year. And so it's a time of year people are kind of reassessing their goals and looking to make changes. So I thought I'd quickly share some tips from a talk I did as a keynote this week as well on change anyway and share five stages to trying to change anything. The first stage being a, a level of awareness as to why change is even needed in the first place. Sometimes we can stick our head in a bucket or in the sand and avoid things and pretend it's not happening or think that there's nothing that we need to change in our lives. And yet change is inevitable. It's personal growth that is a choice. And so consider where do you want to start changing your life and look at how do you need to grow or change as a person in order to bring that to fruition. So after uh, awareness, you've got the next stage, which is desire. You know, I shared at a keynote this week that where desire is low, give up factor becomes very high. If you've got low desire for anything, the tendency to want to give it up quickly becomes far easier. Think about that with going to the gym or anything. You know, if you've really not got that desire, you're just going to give up quicker and sooner. So you've got to really tap your desire for what the change is that you want. Once you've got that awareness, really tap and increase that level of desire. Third stage being knowledge. Invariably, a change and growth means learning something new, which means acquiring knowledge. And so some element of learning is normally required in order to grow and change. And nobody is a genius at everything. I often joke, unless there's two people on the planet being Donald Trump or Kanye West, just ask them, they're geniuses. Other than that, nobody's great at everything. So we've got to find what knowledge do we need, can we put it in action, or do we need help in order to put it in action? Which leads us to the next stage being application. Putting knowledge. People talk about knowledge being power. Knowledge alone is not power at all. Knowledge put into action can be powerful and can lead to powerful change in your life. But you've got to do something with the knowledge. You've got to you know, take action. It's not about taking action without purpose. But once you know what's needed, put it into action. I often say that in learning sessions. Watching stuff and getting knowledge in, in a classroom session that's fun is one thing. But doing something with it is where you get transformation in your life. So put your knowledge into application. And the final stage being reinforcement. You know, we are creatures of habit. There is a tendency that when we reach an obstacle or a hurdle, that we want to slip back into our old patterns and ways. And sometimes, even if we're doing a change that we want, that we've got higher desire for, because of the way our brain works, we often still have tendency to want to slip back into our old habits. And so reinforcement is a real critical and key part of change. And sometimes we're changing things. We might be addressing behavioral change and getting rid of some toxic crap from our life. And that can be challenging. That can be in our face. And so there's a quote by Winston Churchill as well, I think is relevant, which is, when you're going through hell, keep going. And sometimes when you're going through change, you just got to keep going. It's like going through a detox. If you're changing something, you're going through a detox, you're learning something new, you're going to make sure that that pattern of behavior sticks. So I thought I'd share those quick tips. They're, they're aligned with principles, awareness, desire, knowledge, application, and reinforcement. This is a five path stage to change. I guess in a closing note for this Sunday live, being back in Sydney, I'm fired up having had my European cultural fix. I'm raring to go for this year. And I really wish that the, if I had any wish for myself this year and for people in my circle is to really take those things you're afraid of by the horns and really tackle them. What have you been putting off that you've really wanted to do? What are you passionate about and that you have massive desire for that you really want to get involved with? Because there is only now, there is only present moment. Who or what do you want to get involved with? Do it now because there, there's, no light, there's no time like now. Eckhart Tolle's brilliant on this in the, the moment and being the power of now. So really I'd encourage people to do that. Face your fears, change something, and do it boldly. Anyway, on that note, I'm going to have a night off, sort of. Go and see my best mate Manu back to Paris. He's packing now. And I'll be back with another Sunday Live. And I've got a couple of really cool interviews coming up as well with a couple of Sunday Lives coming up. Have a great week. Mm -hmm.